Blast Point is a unique company. We're the leader in solar for the oil and gas industry, which sounds a bit confusing because historically those two industries have not been happy bedfellows. The oil and gas industry consumes its energy mostly in the form of heat, not electricity. So we designed a system which delivers solar heat, not solar electricity. Most oil fields are in very hostile environments. Imagine a remote oil field in the middle of nowhere, and that's typically where we're deploying our systems. Their biggest innovation was to put the entire solar array inside an agricultural greenhouse. We've got two huge benefits from that. The first one is that the initial upfront investment is about half. And the second one is that the glass structure protects the solar array, which means we don't have to clean it as often. And as a result, the operating costs of the system are also much lower. Climate change is one of the biggest problems facing mankind today. And we're on a mission to help solve that problem. And not only that, we want to have fun while doing it. Now that by itself is a pretty inspiring mission, but very early on, we also decided to only hire the very best and brightest people. And it's amazing what a group of really talented people can accomplish if they're focused on a task that can really make a difference. The oil and gas industry consumes about 10% of its own production, 9 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. That's more than the entire oil consumption of Western Europe, just to give you a sense of perspective. Now, we can reduce that energy consumption and reduce the emissions which would go along with it. For example, we're currently building at Mira, which is a project in southern Oman that we're building in collaboration with our customer, PDO. When it's complete, it will be one of the world's largest solar fields. It will reduce emissions by 300,000 tonnes of CO2 per annum. Now, that's equivalent to taking 63,000 cars off the road. That's only one project on one oil field in one oil producing nation, so there's a lot more to come.